and good morning this is natalie with discover real estate i'm outside the hotel posada azul which is right up the street from my office down there on the corner on the left is my office and that's the ocean at the end of the street so you've got a little bit of ocean view from the entrance into this property it is a boutique hotel with seven bedrooms um it's for sale right now so let me take you in and give you a little tour so um, here come in is the office where you check in and they have like a tienda in here too where they sell some arts and crafts so but this is a very old house so it's got the high high ceilings um it's absolutely beautiful with the architecture let me show you that arch right there so you have the battery backup system right here but it has common social areas in this fantastic old house with real wooden floors check this out so um beautiful common areas here with lots of windows so going back and then it comes out onto a patio area so lots more social areas and back in the back there that's where the kitchen is where they serve breakfast in the past so but this also has another side entrance from the street so people can come in that gate and access back through here instead of going through the front so let me start up at the front and show you each of the bedrooms okay there's the entrance and on the entrance side there's a nice bedroom here with bunk beds a nice bed and each bedroom has its own attached bathroom so all the bathrooms are, are very nice you got an average shower head steven angela so but uh the entire hotel is is kept very well it's a historic building an old building so they have you know all the furniture and stuff is goes along with the style of the building and in here you have wooden floors so there's wooden floors and and uh, ceramic floors mixed throughout this house um so here the it's ceramic in the bathroom and then wood and then ceramic when you first come in but then the living room is wood the hallway is all ceramic but then the bedrooms are wood so so this is room number three so, just nice this has got a nice big bathroom but a little closet a little in the closet is locked but nice shower Now we'll go into room number four. Let's give you a quick look around. They have lots of uh, storage space in all the bedrooms. So and the bathrooms are small, but they work. But I love like the wicker ceiling fan. There's several of these ceiling fans out of the wicker. which are really cool. There's my clients waiting on me now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now you're YouTube famous. Woohoo! <laughs> this is room number five here. So. But with the high ceilings, it really does uh, keep the heat down. So, but yeah, you can tell the house has been retrofitted to accommodate a um, hotel. And the bedrooms all have AC in them too. And they have lower ceilings in the bedroom, so that helps to keep the, the electric bill down. And then this is the common area bathroom. So that way, um, if people are enjoying themselves having breakfast out here, then they, have, they don't have to go back to their bedroom to, get, uh, to use a bathroom. And then this is the kitchen where they used to cook everybody breakfast when the hotel was open. So, and it's got its own lockable closet there too, which is good to have. So nice big kitchen, lots of space. The kitchen window opens to the bar area outside and across from the pool. 
and it's got the pass through, you know, double door here. So, you know, it has a fantastic pool with this little water feature, which totally drowns out there's any street noise. You don't even know you're in town right now. So, you have a, a thatch roof rancho over the bar area. So, people can hang out in the bar and have a couple cocktails. You've got a, a nice sink here. And looks like more batteries for battery backup system there. But there's a couple refrigerators you can utilize. And then there's a couple more bedrooms at the very back of the property. These are more private, so because you're, you're back off the street, um, you're away from the reception area. This one's got a mini refrigerator in here. And a slightly bigger bathroom, which is nice. And we got another water fountain here, which is really cool. And let me take you into the last bedroom, number seven. I'm not sure how old this house is, but it's probably getting close to 80 or 90 years old based upon the age of the house I'm in and a couple of the other houses right here that I know about. Um, this is the laundry area to do all the laundry so that it's, it's nice and large. Um, they've got the concrete sink. They got a, two sets of washers and dryers. And check it out, a huge iguana up there. Look at him. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know where he went now, but I maybe mean, got back outside. So it comes with a very, your very own, very large iguana. So, but lots of shelves in here for storage. Um, two sets of washers and dryers, tons of linens, extra backup linens, pillows, etc., etc. So. I got some extra furniture. This furniture, I, my gardener repairs this wicker on the bottom of the chair, so he can repair that, no problem. You got the pool pump, you got another freezer, more batteries for the battery backup system, the electrical system, so yeah. The long, these are great to have when you have tall ceilings. These are like dusting poles, so, but uh, yeah. Lots of storage space in here. And this is the end of the property. So it's just all of this. It ends right here. Beautiful pool area, very relaxing to hang out back here. So this was a very popular um, hotel when it was open. I had several clients that have stayed here and they've really liked it. So it's just a beautiful place to stay. I love my life. Come join me.